Hi guys, today we're making pigs in a blanket and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how I make these delicious, highly requested, and first things to go at a football party. Let's get started. First, you want pastry puff and I like the frozen kind. I like Pepperidge Farm. Thawed out, one in the refrigerator and the other half, you can go ahead and roll out. Use a handful of flour and make sure that you flour your rolling pin Go ahead and make a 12 inch square. I measure it, make sure I'm rolling it out to 12 inches. I cut off the uneven edges. It is not required to do so. It just makes it look better in the end. Next, measure one and a half inch and make your marks all the way down. A piece of cutter is really easy to use for this. You can also use a knife to make your marks. Next, we're going to be making three inch cuts. And there should be three of those. So in total, you'll have four sections. On the opposite edge, I'll go ahead and make my one and a half inch marks and I'll lay the ruler across for a straight line. Just hold the ruler firmly with your hand that way it doesn't slide and make your cut. Next, your yolk will be brushed on with a pastry brush and you're only going to brush the seams of the two outer sections. You're gonna skip the middle line. After you're done with those two outer lines, you will go back and you will paint the remaining pastry puff with Dijon mustard. You will use the remaining egg that you have left over for the completed pastry puff. Next, I go ahead and lay out each little smoky on the pastry puff. It's not required. If you have someone helping you, then it's nice to go ahead and have it all laid out and everyone can just start rolling. This is easy for the kids to join in. However, this is very quick. When you start rolling, you will want to end with the egg yolk. The egg yolk will seal the edge and you will not have any pieces of egg. So you do not have to worry about that. are always the first to go at every football game. And you're going to be placing these on a silicone mat covered with parchment paper. Neither of these are required. However, to not stick, it is nice to have both of those. I've had some off flavors with my silicone mat, so I like to cover it with parchment paper. You can place your pigs in a blanket approximately one inch apart. And then you can just brush the tops or pick them up and brush all the sides with the remaining egg yolk. Again, this egg yolk will add to the beautiful color texture and the brownness in the end. These are going to be delicious. So go ahead and bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 11 minutes. Turn them over and bake another 11 minutes and then they are done.
Let me know in the comments how these turned out for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with a friend.